What's going on guys? Welcome to episode 3. Today we're going to Tomahawk MX for the third time. Uh, we're about to get the bike strapped onto the truck. I had to wait for the lawn mowing guys to finish because it was really loud. But we're going to get the bike loaded up, head out to Tomahawk. Uh, it's about 10 o'clock right now. We'll be there on the 11.30 after you pick up some lunch on the way at the gas station. But stay tuned. Oh, one other thing. Um, I noticed that only like 5% of the viewers are subscribing. If you want to see more content and and follow the channel, um, please like and subscribe right now down, I think right here. Right here. Hey, my favorite part of the truck is this right here. Of course, the ramp up, but it makes it so much easier to bring the bike up onto the top. forgot the boots <sighs> and we are off on our way what if I get you on camera when you get up there yeah ask him if we can come along <laughs> so with the last time I was there um the sheriff yeah he stopped by like two times really yeah and then it was ten people the next day they changed to five. Yeah, yeah, because the, the laws changed in West Virginia. That's crazy, man. Yeah, man. We're gonna go hit a spot up down here. There's some trails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried going on trails the first time I said, fuck this shit. I'm just going to the <laughs> and I went to the track and I was like, oh yeah, this is easier than the trail. There's also uh where's the other one? Oh shit. Bud's Creek? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Southern Good. Maryland, right? Good. I've never been there. Like this is like my third day dirt. Really? Yeah. Breezewood. Breezewood. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I heard. Double yeah, that's... Gap. Okay. And yep. Happy Ramblers. Okay. Yeah, um, Tomahawk's only like hour and ten minutes from my house. So I can go and come back. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I don't need nobody to drive with me. Look at that fucking truck, though. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe nice to meet you guys. Hey, you too, buddy. Yep. Woo! We got a nice burrito. From Sheets, we're like about like 15 minutes away from uh, Tomahawk right now. We met some homies on the uh, the gas station. They have some nice looking bikes. Um, I think they said they're gonna hit some trails uh, around the area or something. But yeah, so I'll see you at the third track. All right, guys, we are here. Woo! This is vape smoke. Um, I just saw AJ out on the uh, the kitty section. I think he's training somebody. Probably gonna say hi to him real quick. Um, I did message him um, on uh, on Instagram a couple days ago, but he said he was all booked for the rest of the day. So we're gonna have to do a rain check and see if I can get some uh, coaching from him another time. But um, if you haven't checked out AJ's channel, uh, it's AJ Catanzara, if I'm correct. Um, actually, one of our viewers actually mentioned it. And I found a lot of his videos helpful. I'm going to try to see what I learned from his videos help me out today. <coughs> but um, stay tuned. So I was stopping by the restroom and then I found uh, a company called Factory Connection. Um, I think they're a suspension guy. So I haven't gotten my sack set on the mic yet. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to head over there, get the sack set. I'm a little late to the track because it's 1230, but uh, I'm going to be here till 6 o'clock. So I think that'll be plenty of time to ride. Um, we get the sack set and see how that feels, and then um, we'll give you an update. What was your name again? My name's Jake. Jake? This is Jake with uh, Factory Connection, right? Yep. So you'll see yourself on YouTube. <laughs> nice. <laughs> they have um, these different plugs. Like, uh, yeah. Uh, so I have a black one on there. Which one should I be using? Yeah, they basically, it just changes the mapping and the fuel Right, and, and they say it has to do with like the terrain and stuff like that? Kind of, yeah, yeah. They basically have like they have like one for standard right and then they have one that kind of mellows it out a little bit for uh -huh. like when it's real slick okay and then they have one that's like way more aggressive oh so the like slick one is sand. when it's mellow right okay exactly, so okay exactly. all right cool yeah, kind of tames the tames the engine down go ahead and pull that stand out from under there again right. and then we'll do the same thing just balance okay. yourself there on that hand mm -hmm. 
So what am I supposed to feel when I'm out there? So this is gonna help the rear end settle a lot more. Okay. It's gonna stay squatted a lot more. It's uh -huh. definitely gonna help you get better traction. Okay. Um, it's gonna help soak up a lot of the bumps a lot better Oh, I too. see, okay. So if you guys don't know and you're new to bikes, or if you've never gotten your suspension tuned, I mean, suspension tune is everything. No. Your bike will feel like a completely different bike. I don't know where the kids bike. are. try mine i got a kawasaki mine's a 450 uh-huh but it's revalved oh i see to me yeah how much you weigh uh i weigh 165 probably be pretty good for you if you want to try it okay it's got the factory connections oh it does yes uh, i don't want i don't want to mess it up right now. i'm not worried about that I'm not, <laughs> these bikes can be replaced yeah how about you this? know what i mean let me come here another five times and then i'll take you up on that, that that's offer. fine but look if, if you do it yeah. look it's right here okay it's this kawasaki with the 46. oh wow you can throw your leg on it and set on it and see how it feels okay i think you'll like that yes sir because I road okay. race too. So you're on camera. This is Chad. Oh, okay. Uh, hey. Tomahawk. Yeah. Yeah. So I road race. I did CCS and weir and all that. Oh, so you I, did. I, yeah. I know what you're going okay. through. Okay. So this here, you should try that. Okay. It fits to a T. Right around. You know, my my weight. I'm a little less. Yeah. But you know, in the dirt. But you ride what I'm used, than I do. Yeah. Yeah. So I ride a lot. Yeah. So it, it, it's probably going to be a little stiff for you. Uh huh. But I think you'd have a good uh, understanding. Okay. Okay. Feel free to try it. It's 450. I'll take you up on it. All right. <laughs> Thank you. So it's going to give you guys an update of what Jake with, um, God, something connection. God damn it. I'll go ahead and uh, look it up again and, and let you guys know what it is. But um, I think it was like tech suspension. But I'll show you guys. But what we did was we dropped the front forks because this was up top over here so we dropped it all the way down down to this level and then uh, I think he adjusted um, the rear shock so it'll sag a little bit I asked him how much he was and he said don't worry about it crazy um, super nice dude uh, I call him Jake with State Farm <laughs> he told me to call him Jake from State Farm but um, yeah um, I'm gonna go back, talk to him, let me know how I feel, let him know how I feel about the bike, and then uh, I don't know if we'll do more adjustments to it or not, but we'll see how it goes. today because it rained yesterday and it feels like I've never ridden this bike before it's definitely not the suspension um, I did try uh, sitting more closer to the front of the seat when I turn I was able to take the turn a lot faster but because it's so muddy out and the bumps are there I'm carrying not enough speed and I'm just like sliding everywhere right now so um, I'm gonna take a little quick break and then head back out there and see how that feels but see you soon or stay tuned.
Man, she is dirty. Look at this. Oh my God. Whew. We got some cleaning to do when we get back home. God. Red Bull gives you wings. My God, is it filthy out there or what? It is so muddy. Here, look at this. My boots are like, they look like I have crap all over. But I think the second time out, it felt a little bit better. Um, I could definitely feel the rear um, pushing down a little bit because he softened the rear suspension so I can get more grip. But um, I still have to get used to it because the bike's just like bouncing around and I'm, I'm pretty sure that I'm not positioning properly. Although one improvement today is I was watching AJ's videos and um, uh, what was it? He was talking about sitting way forward in the seat. So I tried that and it's like a night and day difference of how much time I spend in actually in the turn. So I'm able to get the bike turned faster and I feel the front end being planted more and it makes more sense because there's obviously more weight in the front. Um, but uh, probably gonna go out in about a couple more minutes and uh, we'll see you out there. All right, so I just came back from another session. I thought I turned the GoPro on, but I guess it was not on the whole time. Um, I definitely am turning much faster than I did last time. Last time I was like basically stopped in the middle of the turn. Uh, today I'm finding myself, um, I just throw myself to the front of the bike. So before my butt would be like somewhere like here and trying to turn, but now I'm sitting like all the way up here and I can definitely feel my front end a lot more. Um, it's definitely more confidence it's firing. The only problem is I'm uh, I am I think I'm not grabbing the, the bike properly with my legs today. I don't know what it is But the bike's just wishy-washy all over the place in the back, especially when I'm accelerating So I'm gonna be working on keeping my legs tight uh, throughout and uh, see if that helps I'll see you guys right out there again
All right, guys, so I don't know if you're able to see in the footage, but um, that session felt so much better. Um, I'm, I'm sitting on much more further up in the front of the seat. I can get so much more front end feel and uh, I'm able to get the bike turned faster. So before I would go so wide because I didn't have any front end um, feel that I was feeling. So I didn't feel like I was gripping. Um, hold on a second. <coughs> All right, guys, so I'm in the truck uh, taking a break, about to have lunch, uh, probably in a few minutes or so. But um, that last session, I felt more comfortable. Um, I'm definitely able to dig in. Uh, I'm sorry, get feel the front end a lot better. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is when I go out there, uh, I'm going to try to stay in a higher gear. So probably like third, fourth, whenever I can. But because I, when I first went out earlier this morning, I was in like second gear and I think the power is too much. I was talking to Jake with um, uh, Factory Connection and um, what was happening was the rear end was spinning too much because there was, you know, the torque delivery uh, was too sudden. So I've been riding in third and fourth gear. I've actually been able to carry more speed and come out of the turns faster on the higher gear because the back's not spinning so much. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm probably gonna rest a little bit. Do some work in between. Uh, unfortunately, even though I'm off today, it's a car business. What can we do? But uh, we'll see you out there again. third or fourth session um, I don't know if you can tell I think you can see but uh, I was definitely getting some more air um, it's so much more comfortable like so the problem I was having before was I was too busy riding the bike trying to figure out how to sit so on and so forth I still am but I'm a lot more comfortable before and then um, you can see me panting but I'm actually a lot less tired and you know what I think I was happening the last two times I was here 
I honestly think that I don't think I was even breathing when I was riding. <laughs> like every time I go on the jumps, I think I was holding my breath. But uh, I'm not as tired as I was before. Like I used to feel exhausted. Either I'm getting used to it, but I've been checking to make sure that I've been breathing. And I noticed like earlier this morning that like I was holding my breath for a few times. So um, obviously if you don't breathe, you're gonna be more tired. Um, so that's that. The other thing, uh, I'm definitely coming out of the turns faster. Um, the one major difference with the track right now though, versus the last two times I was here, uh, because it's wet, um, and there's actually a couple guys that AJ's coaching today, and so the, the ruts are created a lot more properly, and you know, uh, I feel like that's helping me a lot. I don't know if I'm getting used to the bike, or the bumps before the brakes are getting better, but I'm braking much later, so I'm not slowed down and then have to like gas through the bumps before the turn. Um, and I'm able to gas out sooner because I'm actually using the ruts a little bit. But um, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I definitely feel more comfortable. Um, I'm, I'm starting to enjoy it a little bit more. Um, I actually did three laps the last time I was out and uh, I, I liked it. It was fun. Um, I think I'm catching more air in the, the back section up top where there's like three bumps um but uh i'm getting more air i'm in a higher gear oh i started actually shifting more so i'd shift to like third um out of the turn and then i'd go back into like second as i'm turning whereas before i was just in second the whole time um and, and the bike a lot feels more how should i say it doesn't feel like i really have to hang on because there isn't so much torque um i do feel more comfortable um to I don't know if the dirt's getting drier or not, but um, the bike's not fishtailing as much as it was this morning either. So that's pretty good. Um, but uh, I was gonna eat lunch earlier. I got caught up with work in the middle of it. So I may or may not go back out, um, depending on how I feel, if I'm hungry or not. But uh, we'll see you next session. So today's menu is uh, tuna salad from Sheets.
Well, I ate shit. God damn. <sighs> My shoulder's in a little bit of pain. I hope it's because uh, it's just in shock, but I might have some scratches underneath. I don't know what happened both times. I'm gonna have to check a look. But yeah, the bike's okay. I feel okay. What I should have done was, I should have just come in after that first crash, but I don't know. I think I'm a little slow from after lunch. We'll see. Uh, I'm gonna check, take this off and see what I look like. And I'll get back to you. All right, so um, I feel a little bit of pain still on the shoulders. I think I pulled something because I heard a little crunch and then uh, the arms are a little fucked up, but it's just a scratch. It doesn't look that bad. I think what saved it really was the, uh, the pads actually you know what i don't even i don't even have elbow pads i guess elbow pads would have saved it but the most of the paint i landed right on my shoulder on my left side and years ago when i was sparring with a friend um i threw a jab and then it disconnected my shoulder so ever since then like it pops out really well but i i still have motion but i feel a lack of strength so i don't know what i'm gonna do it's still like it's still 419 so i'm gonna sit get some rest and then when it's about I don't know whenever it feels a little bit better hopefully it does and then I'll go back out again probably for one last time before we go home uh, but yeah stay tuned all right guys so I went out the camera died I did one lap and uh, I stalled I wasn't riding right um, I guess I was a little shook because my shoulders not feeling 100% um, there was still slight pain so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call it a day. Um, just leave it at that. I did want to do one lap at least, so I didn't want to end on a on a low note. But we're gonna leave it as it is. Um, it's almost five o'clock now. I got an hour left, but been here since what twelve, twelve thirty. But yeah, um, thanks for tuning in. We're gonna head out back home now, and then probably I want to stay in about a week. I'm going to try to come every week, week and a half. Um, if not here, I might go join some of my buddies at, you know, buy power lines and things like that. But uh, I did have a few good sessions today, which I'm pretty happy about. But uh, the last one with the crash, you know, and uh, I went off my line and I went past the rudder just like, you know, two seconds ago. And then I, I just, you know, I from something that I learned when I was going to the racetrack for my R6 is uh you know if you're not feeling 100% it's just better to just pack it up for the day and then you know come another day so we're gonna leave it out there but yeah um thanks for watching please like and subscribe and then uh we'll see you guys next time <laughs>